and girls, we have a game. Moon versus Life. We concluded Group A with the win of Lin and 120. Who's going to follow them into the top four in this high prestige and high price money tournament, HMW Masters? We will go into the bracket for a little while. Where is it? Come on. So what happened so far? In group B. You were streaming it. I had a day off that day. Uh, we had Moon defeating Law Lion 2 0, who played Pocket Rockets, right? With uh, the Tinker. Law Lion did, I think. Uh, at, in one game at least? Yeah, in yeah. the first. And Life defeated yeah, yeah, Sock yeah, 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 yeah. 2 and 1. So that was a surprise to me. I thought Sock would be the favorite here after he eliminated TH in the first group stage. Uh, Moon and Sock were in the group before, um, but Sock and Lawlight in the lower bracket, Moon and Life in the winner's bracket. So the winner of this best of three will go to Shanghai for the offline tournament this Saturday and Sunday to fight for the big bucks. And here are your players. Are we in the game? Uh, yes. All right, Moon top right and Life bottom left. This is also where the first night of mirror between Moon and Lawlight took place. Which uh, was very well played by Moon, just getting slightly ahead, bit by bit. It took a very long time, despite the game having feeling to be quite over for a while already. But Moon wasn't overextending, just building on his lead little by little and clutching out the game in the end. And since you didn't see the game, Neo, I'm going to give you a short little summary of what happened in that best of three between Lolai and Moon. It was pew 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 pew, archers. <laughs> Ah. Pew, 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 archers, treants, acid bomb, pew, 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 oh, archers. So that, and that was uh, two games in a row. That sounds very exciting. As yes, it, it absolutely was. It was a barn burner. I started talking about uh, my history teacher and our trip to Barcelona at one point. Because he gave me the inspiration to call it uh, the Pew Pew Wars. Because uh, he uh, called uh, Stronghold like that. Do you remember Stronghold, the game? Yes, of course. It was freaking awesome. Was outstanding. And then uh, we came, got into a discussion. Why are there no crossbow people in Warcraft 3? Because in Stronghold, the crossbow dudes were much stronger than the archers, you know? So why don't we have crossbow shooters? You know? The null brutes have crossbows. Damn! That's also what Chad said. They, You were, like, immediately on that. Yeah, yeah. I know my creeps. No bad. As a creep myself. So let's go into this game. <laughs> <laughs> Life in the blue. With the Keeper of the Grove, of course. Mantle, nice addition. Moon in the red. Life wants to creep up to level 3 rather early. Moon has a different idea and wants to distress that. We have a new sub here coming in, by the way. Thank you, Smoke93. And now, let's see who gets the last hits. First one goes to Moon. And the other one as well here. Tunneler number 2. But the big boy Taskmaster. Oh, can he steal it? No. Life gets it. With a much better inventory now, double gloves and mantle, but Moon instantly there with the in with the dispel. Did you see that? And Tangle hits, and boom, the Wisp is there, saying, "I will save you, my friend." Would you say that Moon yeah. is at the moment the best Night of Mera player in the world? Yes, I not would agree. Close. Like, not even worth a discussion. He's beating everyone. I haven't seen him play Foggy in a long time, uh, since the WGL Grand Finals, of course. But Lawlight -Law stands no chance. I guess life stands no chance. I don't know. He just has the better idea about this matchup. Yeah, we'll see here, won't we? I was still waiting. I am, I guess, still waiting for Moon to like break the meta and show the counter to Archers. But so far, he hasn't even tried. Yeah. He's just going all in Archers. He's like, okay, I guess it's Archer Wars again for the tenth time in a row. But he's winning with it, so. I suppose there's uh, no reason to change up his style. Who are we to doubt him? Well, I tried a little, right? Uh, knowing that Moon is just so good in yeah. this and he can't really beat him. But he tried with uh, Zeppelin plus Glaive shenanigans. But Moon would not be fooled. Of course. Level 3 for life now. Good DPS for this keeper. On the other side, Moon's inventory a little underwhelming. Tier 2. Almost at the same time, Moon a little ahead. There's quite some controversy around life these days. He uh, starts to forfeit games, then still plays them. Next day, he forfeits games again. Then there was a lot of uh, discussion about him leaving uh, the Rogue Warriors. Then it was 
talk back into the rogue warriors. So something seems to be up with uh, life at the moment. But so far, doesn't seem to distract him. His early game, decent. And he's stealing a big camp away from Moon. Yeah, stealing the natural is like almost unheard of in any matchup, but in the mirror, this is super weird. And doesn't look like Moon is going to be able to return this, moving further to his side of the map. It just looks like Life's got a much better creep route here so far. Getting close to level 4 on the first hero. Creeping along with his alchemist though now, so perhaps on the alk he's going to fall behind a little. But he gets the second big item on the upper left. Not only the consumable, but also the renegade. Sleep would of course be great. Dude, I can't wait for the pew pews. Pew pew is going to start soon, boys. <laughs> The pew pews, of course. But you know what? I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. We're beyond the glaive the uh, matchup, the glaive mirror matchup. So all's good. You it's all good in the hood, boys. Okay. Double level up for life. Four and two here. So he's not falling behind. And Moon is now wasting so much time checking the 12 o'clock, yeah. checking the mercenary camp, and he gets nothing done in the meantime. Look at all the agility on the Alchemist. Plus nine agility. Holy hell. Good attack speed. He's got the boots and the, the fitting slippers. This is the way they were intended by Karl Lagerfeld. This is exactly... <laughs> you think? <laughs> this is the way this fashion is intended, yes. You think Karl Lagerfeld would have worn boots like this? Yeah, of course. This is the best fashion combo in the game, dude. Well, as long as the you socks, don't wear jogging pants, I think he's fine with it. Plus the shoes. <laughs> Oh, first big engagement here. Alchemist dropping low, and Life doesn't want to have to pop the invul yet, and doesn't have to. Kind of amazed that we don't have any wisps here. Well, actually, Life brought plenty, but Moon brought none. You can't win without wisps. Need the spell. And uh. losing two archers basically for free. Moon making a mistake. Since when does that happen? I am uh, surprised as well. Wisps now kind of forgotten. Taking additional damage here as well, but we'll be fine in the end, I guess. Alchemist a little low for Moon. Wisps are coming in for oh like that acid bomb! Massive Holy shit. acid bomb indeed, hitting like six arches or so, five at least. Seven. Holy crap! Heal spray desperately needed. Wisps coming in, but once again feeling a little bit late, perhaps. But those were two big time detonates. But at the end, still losing one more archer, and life seems to be taking a lead in this game. That will definitely be a cancel on the expansion. Supply-wise, we're still very even. So now, it's also about the mana. Life is dropping very low on mana on the Keeper. Alchemist still looking okay. Still an invul to hold on to. No invul at all on the Alchemist for Moon, so he has to be careful with his movement. But Moon has a lot more mana, of course, taking... Uh advantage of the moon wells and the clarity so more treants nice to spell again ah. okay and another entangled big invul used now acid bomb hits nicely too it seems like moon can really reach the back line and doing damage he's way more focusing on heroes and forcing the tp with it that was kind of a two versus two archer trade though so that's fine the tp is gone of course but previous to that, life had been trading better, can now make use of all that juicy moon juice in the main. And whoop, it's gone, I guess. Um, got the expansion cancel, which was the biggest deal, whereas life's tree of life is now almost finished. Indeed, he was expanding on the back of this fight as well. That took quite some time. Of course, moon was far away. Couldn't cancel that one. Alchemist will rise up to level three, and moon is making his way over across the map. Keeper at the shop, heal scroll. And Invol, good consumables. Does Moon have some? No. Damn, life is playing way better than I expected. Absolutely. Making a great, uh, having a great showing here so far. Moon perhaps a little outmaneuvered in the early game and still trying to recover from that situation. But of course, not out of the grasp of the world champion. Renegade Wizard, Fruit of Accuracy. This is one of the biggest drops possibly on the map. With the archers not yet having any upgrades, no tier 3 or such. And he gets it! Gets the flute here. How well, mad is life now that he went to the upper left and not taking care of, like, his bottom right? 
And he's like, Remo's right. Why don't we have blood shards? Why do we have RNG drops? <laughs> I like it that way if it's not too solid. One of mana stealing for life, who got the second consumable on this map. Not too lucky with his drops, but still, uh, his opponent didn't get them. Now we have a heal scroll as well for Moon at 50 supply. Upgrades are 0-0. Zero, zero. Don't even know if we have a Hunter Sword. This time Moon brings in the Wisps. Yeah, both are bringing them in. But pretty good splits, I guess. Oh, Moon pretty lazy with the trees towards the right side. One, two detonates. Doesn't perhaps even need the second detonate. Alchemist dropping low for life already. Trying to get as much mileage out of this heal throw as possible. Both players using it. Invol finally forced on this alchemist. Was it still the big one? No, and no. Instant counter invol to pop out of the entangle there on Moon's side as well. He used the big one small, in uh, Moon's base, so it was attack. the newly purchased one. And both players have an expansion up. Moon starting to mine in like a minute. Life about to start having additional income. Yeah, life with a slight expansion lead, not trying to force the issue by mass producing immediately, but rather trying to uh, salvage this or no, leverage now this, that's the word, seat. into tier 3 upgrades as the Tree of Eternity is coming in and soon to be marksmanship and everything else. But that's going to take a while. At the moment, this investment has not anything for him. It's okay though, Moon still the supply disadvantage, Moon is not tacking. He should be able to hold this uh, life, I guess, but couple of archers dying. He's trying to force down this alchemist. There's oh, the, the staff. Nice wisp block by Moon. Jesus. Lots of wisps here being committed from life side. Oh, alchemist dropping very low. Moon may have to go for the TP. Does so. Saves the alk. He lost a couple of archers. Yeah, exactly. He lost a couple of archers, but Expo stays up. And I think Moon has to go to tier 3 now because there's no way. I mean, as good as Moon is, but he can't win against upgraded archers and the best looking upgrade in the game, marksmanship. Marksmanship. Uh. Yeah, either Moon has to exactly catch up with the upgrades with attack, or he has to finish this game within like the next two minutes. Yeah, but how? How? Yeah, that's why I'm, I always say, don't go for the all-in, go for the transition. Give your chance, give yourself a chance later on. Close What's your level, levels looking like, by the way? Close to level 5 is life with his keeper. Very close, actually. Level 3.5 alchemist, also decent. 4.5 for Moon and his first hero. Alchemist a little ahead. <coughs> Ultra vision now as well, by the way. This could be a vision advantage coming into play. If we see a fight break out soon again. Moon, what do we have? Hunter's Hall at the lab. Is it time now finally for the tier 3? He has at 50 supply, which is basically the perfect time to go for it. Has no and life gold. himself still also not going into upkeep. But he is going upgrades. He has ultra vision. He gets the first attack oh, upgrade. He queued the wellspring attack. upgrade. And now red spot. Okay. For both players, the last remaining spots on the map. Alright. Who gets the crystal ball? <laughs> Actually, that's pretty fast with all these archers. The I think Endurance there. Aura yeah. would be the best. Command is also amazing. Yeah. Crystal Ball for life. Damn. He's pretty unlu unlucky with those items. Greater Involve for Claudia was nice, I guess. Crystal Ball for Moon. <laughs> you cursed both. Crystal ball. You cursed them both. That's a good compromise. If both are unhappy, that's the best case. Well, Remo, if they use... Uh, shadow melt, you could use it to reveal. Wow. You actually so much value. You right. Damn, such a good item, I wasn't even thinking about it. Half a dust of appearance, man. <clears throat> the new crystal ball, by the way, which is going to be then a level 3 permanent, I think is actually pretty good. Yep. I'm looking forward to that. I agree. Lots of crystal balls, lots of armor points in the new patch. Level 5 Keeper now, close to 4 Alchemist, on the other side it's 4-4, four, four, but Moon being closed there as well. Is the upgrade done? Yes, 1-0 against the Flute, so that should be even in damage. That Marksmanship, Neo! Oh yeah, but Marksmanship, you are right! So it's not even in damage at all. So Moon honestly shouldn't have any business here winning this fight, but perhaps he can just delay it. Of course, he saw the marksmanship now. He realizes how Moon, how far Moon himself is away from that upgrade. Investing into a shredder to get all that lumber in. Moon at the moment has a massive supply deficit. Damn, dude. These 
off of venom shots by the keeper they're coming in so fast if he spreads them nicely that is insane damage and he's killing so much Kill the archers. pew 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 boys <laughs> all the pews in the world all the pubes <laughs> wow <laughs> wow wow Keeping you know the crystal ball, by the way, both are. That's the famous uh, quote from, what's his name? The blonde guy? Something Wilson? The one blonde guy in the world, yeah. <laughs> With a crooked nose. Wow. You don't know who I'm talking about? Nope. Mass Whisk coming in for the detonate here on both sides. Who has to hold, he has to buy time for his upgrades. Can he do it though? This is a massive archer lead for life. This is looking like the 1-0 for the Chinese right now. Actually, supply-wise, it's pretty equal, but a lot of stuff is stuck in production. And there's the Shredder for Moon as well. Oh, dodging the Acid Bomb with an invul. Yep, life, that was sweet. Vast Entangle going on to the first hero there of Moon. Doesn't want to pop the TP if he doesn't have to. And he gets out of this. And now we look for his own hero kill. Onto the Alchemist. TP transferred. And with that, life gets away. And Moon is going to be happy with this. He didn't get the heroes, but he bought enough time for finally his tier 3 to finish. Whew, this was uh, very close to comfort. Moon actually parking three archers here at the expansion, didn't set a rally point, and only now going for marksmanship. Of course, he had the reinforcements from this engine of war and the moon juice, but I think it was still a pretty impressive hold. Yeah, absolutely. He had the mana and wisp advantage there towards the end of the main, which was a big help. Now realizes about the archers. But I think Lifeset has the better upgrades, right? 2-0. Yeah, it's about to be 3-0. Yeah, 3 0 on the way. And only not, like it was a 2-0 plus marksmanship in favor of life. Moon only had the flute. It's pretty insane hold if you ask me. Yeah. It's true. Life still with the advantage here. Upgrade wise and numbers wise. Moon though closer to his main. Moon juice cannot be relied upon too much anymore. But there's a shop and there's faster reinforcements. And now there's the Orb of Venom as well. Seems like it's we're going to a more even playing field here. 63 versus 66. Time for more consumables. Heal potion, heal scroll. Where's the keeper? Does he have something? TP and mana pot. So both have kind of an equal equipment in their inventories, and life is once again the one to push. All right, Wisp moving forward. Freeance, how are the acid bombs? Okay, nothing absolutely game changing, I guess. Deforestation continues. So far, the archers are pretty much untouched, only going for the hero so far. Keeper, low HP already here, getting focused, and it's gonna be a TP force. There's no way. To Half a second from dying there. All right, let's count the corpses. Three on Moon's side. Three on the other. Pretty even, I guess. It's the life with the lead, and especially the experienced lead on the Keeper of the Grove. 5.7, I think, against 5.2. So, Tranquility coming in soon. And I think life is doing good in, like, just trading equally. Because with the ultimate then, he has the upper hand. 2-0 coming for Moon. He's still fighting two upgrades. <laughs> so sick. Was being reproduced. That dispel is absolutely going to be necessary. The keeper is super low HP. There was no Moon Juice at all. Not even potions being imbibed here by life. Yeah, he has one on again. the Alchemist. No. But the Keeper's still below 350. That's like, uh, poof, scary. That's like poo? Poo, scary. Poof. Woofy. We had a guy in high school called Dominic Hoofnagel. We, we called him Hoofy. Ah. That's like the best name ever. <laughs> Doofy. Yeah, I like Doofy. that. Almost as good as Yale. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for another fight. Um, there's a little bit of misplay by Life. He's not moving the Wisp and he forgets one Archer in the back. So using the heal scroll already. That's a focus fire by Moon on this Alchemist, trying to prevent him from level 5. Staff is ready, but using the Invo Potion and counter focus, I guess. 
There's not too much to save Moons out here except the invul and the heal scroll forces the TP again. Oh, oh the yeah. Elk. Elk. Heal scroll, I guess. Yep, I guess. Wait, but he healed back up to more than 150. Was it? Uh, must have been a heal scroll. Or was it a heal potion? May have been a heal potion, actually. Not sure. Still no level 6. It was probably a heal pot. It just looks so little because he's got such a big ass health pool. Ah, because he's at 1.1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moon going for defense upgrades now. Gonna be 2 1 and then 3 1. It's like doing. <laughs> Dude, life in this game is like, why won't yeah. you die? <laughs> yes. God damn it. Seriously. Going 3 2 now. But with the ult, he should win, right? Well. With three upgrades advantage, you should also win. Yeah, that is correct. Oh, the alchemist overstaying his welcome at the shop. He's waiting for the invul, but now he's getting caught. Entangle. Where is it? Coming yet. Making sure he gets the invul. Is this the second one? No, the only one. Good shop control, though. Alchemist has to go for anti-magic here for Moon now. Moon has the supply lead by now. Pew, pew, pew! Here we go again. Chris moving forward against the Treants. Stuff here. Level 6 for the Keeper! Has to go for the Tranquility right now. Oh my god, great usage. Getting out of the Entangle, healing everything back up. Moon is aiming hard for those hero kills, going for the Alchemist next. It will pop from him as well. So both heroes remain alive, but that's kind of their big cooldowns used. And Alchemist dropping extremely low now for Moon, going into the Moon Wells just barely. And Moon holds for the tenth time. Again. Again and again and again and again and again. With two upgrades low. Unbelievable. But 3 1 is finishing. He has the flute, so he's basically 4 1. And then. Oh, he gets plus 3 from that, right? That's actually insane. I think so. Life is going 3 3. So that's good. But. Damage wise, Moon will be ahead. Of course, there's tranquility now. Only on one side. Alchemists, oh, ah. the alchemist, like, he has two levels advantage at the moment. One on the keeper, one on the alchemist. He has one upgrade ahead. This is just unbelievable. Level 5 alchemist, by the way, I figured this out uh, a couple of days ago. It's plus 4 strength, Neo. Oh. Wow. Wow. Almost as good as the lich level 4. A uh, level, yeah, level 4. Yeah, plus 4 strength, boys. Right there. That's why he's at 1225 HP. That's actually kind of sick. <sighs> Time for Moon finally to move across the map, as it seems. Going to the shop. Would love to have an invul, but it's out of stock. He buys a late game circlet. That's okay. interesting. Oh, no, it, he gave it over. No. Main gold mine's empty, by the way. Mo uh, Life is pulling so <laughs> many wisps now. Has an invul, has the heal scroll, and I guess if he makes a step right, he could get another heal scroll. A player's forces are under attack. I think life just has to be more careful with his heroes, right? He always gets entangled, focused, and then he has to TP out. Yeah, it's true that Moon is very smart in those fights to focus the heroes right away. I love that Moon, by the way, has 90 supply capacity, so if he loses a Moon Wall, he'll still produce to 80. Yeah. And here we go again! Level 5 now for the Aquas as well. For Moon, it could be a massive acid bomb into the back. Booyah! Hitting six archers right there. But here comes the track looking, looking good for Moon, I think. Lots of archers dying, but he has to take care of this Alchemist. There's nothing to save him! Oh. Except the staff. Shredder here doing his best by getting sniped out really quickly. Moon, of course, all, has all the number in the world. Won't need it anymore. So, who's taking this fight now? Moon is in trouble, gets the heal spray, but the oh. damage seems to be too much! TP! Now we got level 6 though. Can use Tranquility right away. Life's in trouble as well. What a nail biter. Actually, and again. even in terms of supply, how crazy. Same hero levels now, same supply. One upgrade advantage still for life, but the flute for Moon. And the upgrade, the third armor upgrade is coming in as well for those archers. And then for the first time in 25 minutes, he has the better army. 
I'd like to see more anti-magics being purchased. What's the... Okay, nobody knows this, but what's the cooldown on anti-magic in the shop? <laughs> nobody has that. Seriously, idea. no one knows this. <laughs> well, chat knows everything, so... Especially for life. Why does he never go for anti-magics? He got a lot of invuls that Moon doesn't... And but yeah. with the anti-magics, you have, you have two ways out of the entangle. Look at the tranquility on the alchemist. Doesn't even heal that much. <laughs> anti-magic! 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 Come on! Oh. Why no anti-magic, bro? Moon this time got one invul and one heal scroll. But yeah, w uh, on what do they spend their money now except archers, by the way? And items, I guess. They stay at 50. 11,000 here. 11,000 here. Man, they Between can play this game for quite some time. <laughs> Between Lolai and Moon, by the way, when Lolai, no wait, when Moon hit level six Alchemist, he didn't go for Transmute. Could you believe that? Well, I just don't give that, that much money, but it's yeah. still an insta kill. Yeah, and it's still like 160 gold or whatever. It's still gold. And a kill. Uh, what? What is the conversion rate again? 135. Right? Or 125? Yeah, but I mean, I'm, how much percent do you get? Yeah. That's what I ah, mean I as well. you meant archer cost. Ah, no, no, it's kind of the same. Archer cost, of course, 135 gold, and I think the terms, the, the cost, like, you get 125% or so. Here we go again, though. Walks it off with a chemical rage. Life has no heal spray, by the way. It's been focused again. Invo Potion breaks it. Tranquility to heal it up. That was necessary, but very early on. Doesn't heal the archers. There's no damage on them. It's only for the out. And Tag is ready again. Could easily go for a hero kill right here. Both can, I guess. Moon, where's the Entangle? Now going for the Keeper. The damage might be enough. Is he gonna fall? Is he gonna lose the first hero? Keeper dies. And the Archers, half of them are left behind as well. Oh, 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 oh there's GG. How frustrating was this game for the young Chinese? <laughs> Seriously, dude. <laughs> it's like the Mongols trying to break the Chinese wall for hundreds and hundreds of years. Nope, not happening here. Moon holds 12 times or so and takes the lead. Crazy. He just, he just wouldn't die, dude. He just wouldn't die. Life had every single advantage you can basically have in this matchup. <laughs> but, like... His hero positioning was always a little bit off. Wasn't he like always too far forward? Like it was towards the end of those fights, always Moon being like, okay, now ent entangle your hero, your keeper, you have to leave. Yep. And why no anti-magics, dude? Yeah. Anti-magic. That's true. I think that was the key. Like Moon knew he had to catch up. He needed to buy time. Um, And it was just hero focus all the way. Yeah. And it worked so sweet. Level 2 Entangle, level 3 Acid Bomb, that's a lot of damage. Damage! We love our damage. Damage! AoE Orb of Corruption, Neo. Jesus. <laughs> it is. Old Orb of Corruption. Blizzard, why is my orb still 375 gold, by the way? <laughs> I want 325, gimme. <laughs> oh, that complaint will never end. And now everyone's going to get more armor as well. Can't do any more damage, Neo. What now? I guess I have to go mass cripple. And that is fucked. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and it's all those nerfs in the latest patch. It'll <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> be interesting to see when that patch hits and how it's going to be. Hopefully not this week, but we'll see. So, second game here. Moon, he's kind of on a crazy win streak against Night of, by, uh, by the way, right? As far as the matches between Life and Moon, for uh, actually, are even actually pretty even. Uh, five to three in favor of Moon. Um, throughout uh, history, that is since, since 2006. But more recent matchups for Moon, I'm taking a look right now. Uh, hasn't lost to a Night Elf in months, actually. <gasps> Who was the last one? I have to scroll down very far. Wow. Against Colorful. Wow. In March. Okay, it's not that long ago. 
But but before that, he like he was he won the last eight or so. Sick. Knight of Mirrors. Yeah, that is. Uh... How did Colorful win? What? <laughs> quite surprising. Quite surprising. But yeah, Moon, kind of insane how he was with a disadvantage for like the entire game, but it didn't matter. Next map is Last Refuge. Next map, where I saw Foggy is starting to play Demon first in the mirror. And if he does that, that probably means Moon started doing that. Perhaps mm -hmm. we're going to see a Demon first here. What do you think? What do you reckon, Neo? What do you reckon? I would expect it on maybe Echo and maybe Terranas. Yeah, on last especially Echo. I on Last Refuge. I don't think so. I think it's Keeper. Last Refuge. Because you kind of need level three. And that's hard. And it's a little easier with Keeper. Yeah. So. But if you're aggressive right away with the Demon, perhaps you can even keep him on level one. I'm not sure how that works out exactly. When Foggy played his Demon first here, he smashed his opponent. But I think his opponent was Shishi or someone. <laughs> and I mean, Shishi's a free win. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna about to we're about to start this game here. Uh, there is a little error on the Chinese stream, as it seems. They are about to fix this. Loser, of course, is not out yet. This is the upper bracket. Life or Moon will have a chance still in the lower. Will be concluded yeah. tomorrow once again at 1 p.m. Uh, CEST. We're gonna have Law Lyad versus Sock as our opener, and the winner of that match will face the loser of this match to determine the fourth player for the playoffs. What a lineup, man! Lin one two zero. Yeah. Most likely Moon, and then one out of and then Life Sock. Alliance. That would be like perfect race distribution. Hell yeah! And people look at the playoffs. Sock. Well, then it would be like a human there that is not TH nor Infi. Yeah. Sock best human in the world, boys. <laughs> are you part of the Sock fan club already? Of course I am. Are you Are you wearing uh, the Ever... base caps like him? Are you starting yeah, b-boy practice? Yeah, I, I started trying to do the, the head spins and stuff, you know. Uh -huh. So far, only headaches and falling onto the floor, but <laughs> we're getting uh, there. There's not much in your head you, you can do damage to, so... Exactly. Like, low risk, high reward. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Foggy, mate. Nice to see you. I love that Foggy has a moon emote, by the way. Yep. So, Foggy, what do you think? Is this going to be Demon Hunter first? You stole it from Moon, right? When you played it, right? <laughs> Don't tell me you got it from anybody else. There's only one influence for Night Elves, and that is Moon. Anti-magic doesn't work because of three-second invul, he says. I don't understand that. I guess for the... I don't know. Me neither. Well, if you use the anti-magic and then tranquility, of course, then yeah. anti-magic is gone. I think we're talking about different things. Yeah. I'm just talking about like when having an, 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 uh, an anti-magic to pop out of an entangle. Yeah. That's what I mean. Rima, does the food make the room smelly? <laughs> For the 2000th time, <laughs> these are not takeout boxes, okay? And no, I'm not removing them out of fucking spite. They're staying. Better get used to them. What about the green screen I bought you? That's that's a different topic. <laughs> no, it's not. If you put on the green screen, people will not see it. People will not complain. <laughs> okay, you just gave me a great idea. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. It's going to be a surprise. I think you will take a picture of Psh, your... Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say it! <laughs> that has been suggested before. And I... Uh, had no, it hasn't. Up. It's all my brilliant idea. Yeah, and nobody yeah. knows what it is. Nobody <laughs> knows what it is? Shut up! <laughs> nobody knows. Anyways, uh, how's life, Neo? Oh, uh, life, life is... 
Dude, yesterday it was raining cats and dogs here and I don't know, donkeys. It was raining so hard and it was the one day of the year where I went outside without a hoodie or without a a anything protecting my head. So I arrived home soaking wet. But that's some bad luck. That's okay. I kind of enjoy rain. And we actually have the first bit of sunshine since like the last seven days or so. It was like all gloomy and dark and uh, rainy and cloudy. But now today it's pretty nice, actually. Did you miss your vitamin D? Uh, what's vitamin D? That's I don't what go you get from the, the sun. I don't know that. I, I just see it through my window. Like apparently it's Yeah, yeah, outside. you, right? You don't go outside. Oh, I've been to the gym at like 7 a.m. in the morning working out for hours. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, apart from that, not much happening, actually. No concert. When's the next concert? Monday. Tomorrow? Monday. No, Monday. Monday? Isn't yeah. that a weird day for a concert? Dude, no day is weird for a concert, except Sunday. I hate Sunday's concerts. The crowd <sighs> is so, like, worn out from Saturdays always. Mm -hmm. Always a little hungover, always a little passive. So Sunday concerts are not really great, but apart from that, it's all good. Excellent. I I'm going to see Mineral and Delta Sleep. Looking forward to Delta Sleep so much. They're only the support act, but Delta Sleep, man, I love them. So when WoW Classic comes out, Nia, <laughs> you're going to join our guild, right? <laughs> I will not care one bit about WoW Classic. We talked about that uh, when you were gone a couple of days ago. Come on, Neo. A little bit of leveling. Little, you know, leveling, looting, getting up to carry you to level 40 or whatever. Come on, Neo. WoW Classic. In what you, world do you I have from your time phone. for WoW? I don't know. Just, just uh, play at work. Play at work? The <laughs> yeah. computer's there. They can't even play Pac-Man. This so... World of Warcraft is from 2004. These it's computers work. can barely handle the software we run on them. I will not put anything on there that, like, PowerPoint takes minutes to load. <laughs> can they handle streams? On low quality, yes, but I can't run them on HD. Yeah, I know that from old laptops as well. You can yeah. only do like 480p. <laughs> yeah. Once you go higher, it's like everything's lagging. Speaking of P, I'll be right back. I wish you much, much success and good fortune. Um, yeah, we still have some uh, issues on the Chinese stream, apparently. So that's why we're still waiting here for the second game between Moon and Life. Where are the patch notes? Which patch notes? Do you mean 1.31? That's like uh, exclamation mark PTR. You can just uh, Google it though. Warcraft 3, 1.31. I'm pretty sure that must work. And yeah, those uh, are pretty uh, kind of unbelievable when you take a look at them actually. In Warcraft still exists? Are you serious? What? I thought that site was deleted a long time ago. Uh, wait a minute. But the posts are really old. Okay, I'm confused. Anyways, you can Google it easily. And there's plenty of new stuff coming in. New items for the undead. Um, Necromancer completely reworked everything. And honestly, we have no idea how it's going to be. Nobody knows. I'm back. Thank you, Crooksy, for the 15-month resub. That was fast. You didn't even wash your hands, Neo. I did. Ew. I did. Ew. I always do. I did. Recently, I heard from someone. <laughs> oh, right. This is about washing hands. He claims that he's a pretty... Uh, hygienic person and you know is very uh, takes pays very close attention to this so when he's outside uh, in the city and whatever he's take 
it's very important to him that the the bathroom stalls are clean and he cleans his hands before dinner, after dinner. But when he's at home, he never once washes his hands, even when he takes his shit and everything, because he's just at home anyways. That hurts. Yeah, that's like... That seriously hurts my brain. That doesn't sound like a very hygienic person, does it? No. He... <laughs> like, he blames it all on other people. Now he says, like, uh, you know, when I'm at home, everything's contained and it's just me anyways. So, I can't be affected and I, I can't be infecting other people, you know? Some people. But, whatever. So, we have game two, finally, took some time uh, due to the issues on the Chinese broadcasting, but we have Moon with the match points. If he wins one more map, he is in the top four, $4,500 guaranteed, and he would send life to the lower bracket. As mentioned before, we are on Last Refuge. So, get your bets in now, boys. Is it gonna be a Demon Hunter first? I'd love to see a Demon Hunter. Dude, I would actually love to see a Demon Hunter. Me too, but I think uh, chances are not very high. I think if one goes for it, it's life. Actually, both kind of have a favor for the Demon Hunter in this matchup at certain times. Sometimes more, sometimes less. But life started doing it first, I think. Keeper. Uh, damn! Keeper. Shit! Oh, okay. Starting right. off with a disappointment, but this was to be expected um, as it is such a hard level 3 map. And what's a demon hunter against a keeper without level 3? I don't know, man. Not much. I can tell you that. Is... Alright. Alright, boys, get ready. Sling your quivers over your shoulders and get ready to fire some arrows because this is going to be a lot of pew pews once again. <laughs> The excitement in your voice. The players' forces are under attack. I've seen a lot of the entries in game. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't judge me. I always find that interesting, <laughs> you know, that that people worry about that so much. They say like, "Don't judge me. You don't know what my life is like. You don't know my condi uh, position and stuff." Like, why do you care if people judge you? Like, especially if it's strangers. Like, let them ju judge you. Like, who cares? Like, who cares what they think? It's just random ass dudes, you know. You know what I mean? It's not that easy for some people. I mean, you have it easy. You look great. You're basically perfect. Whatever people think matter, of you is like... basically good. But there's I... other people like me. People. Dude, judging that has nothing to do about appearance either. It's A like, lot. you know, you, you lead your life your way. And some people may not like that, but whatever, you know. Fuck them. Fuck him sideways. You know, Just that's saying that you're in a very good position in life Players most of the time. I guess. Nope. I hope. That's what this is about. Like, this is about uh, you. Yeah, it's about judgment. Doesn't matter if you're in a, in a hard position or in a good position. Well, if you're in a good position, you there's not much that people can say about you. So it's easy to argue that way. You know? I don't think so. What, what do you mean in a good position? Like, if you have only a few flaws or something, or nothing nothing bad to care about. If you have a decent job, if you have a good appearance, then you wouldn't care yeah, what people, people think about Yeah, but people don't judge you for working at McDonald's. That's not what I mean. Of what course I mean by people do. What I mean by judging is like, uh, I know, you pick your nose and flick out the booger. That's kind of gross, I wouldn't do that. But for example, you flick out a booger out of your nose and then people are like, oh, that's gross. And then people say, don't judge me, man. It's like, fuck him. Like, let him judge you. Yeah, okay, you're disgusted. I don't care. A player's you know? forces that's are what I mean. under attack. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about, but whatever. We have a good damage keepers here in the game and they leave each other alone for the early stages of the game. That is level three for both of them. Then the Entangle game can begin. Slight advantage for life, I'd say, with this inventory. Expansion on both sides. A little earlier than last time. Moon, when are you breaking this meta? God damn it. You know what's something minor that uh, is slightly infuriating to me for Night Elves? 
When they go back to the main, they heal up and they sip from the Moonwell. That's low mana and there's a full moon, uh, mana Moonwell sitting there that can't even regenerate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But hey. Moon did it perfectly. Because he's Moon. He gets the last here. Like it's it's life. Oh, no. oh, losing an archer here. Counter entangle. Oh. Focus. Nicely playing around this by Moon and forcing the TP early. And getting the item with the greater mana and the experience. Ooh, this gives him a big edge in the early mid game. And the TP being gone, man, that's a really big deal. Moon's got three and two, though, right? Oh, oh but that's a term of experience. Oh. Yes. Almost over. Both players with the same build. I was level ahead with that now. Alchemist on both sides, obviously. Oh, flute this time for life. The flute. All right, that's very good. We're uh, pushing forward. Feeling so strong right now. Oh, the Archimus, what's he doing there? Walking right into an entangled surround. He at least gets off a big acid bomb. But that's not a good trade. That was... Well, I guess he totally wasn't expecting Moon there. And it is kind of a weird timing. But that's, uh, that's a throwaway. Yeah, it feels to me a little like life lost momentum. Or again, losing the first map. And then yeah. his level of yeah. play... Yeah is uh, not as yeah, good as it was in level one. Uh, it feels like he's mentally already capitulated. Yeah. That's exactly what Once I wanted again. to say, but decapitulated is not a word that is uh, in my head. But that's why I got you by my side. You perfect. I only learned that recently. I was like, capitulate? What is that? It's like, ah, it's like capitulate, and that actually makes a lot ah. of sense. Nice. Thank you for the education, you. And you know, that's always what I've been known for, my <laughs> <laughs> my great teaching skills and yep. maturity. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> World famous teaching skills. Job lost. When's the Alchemist coming back? Oh, he already is. Good. Finally, something, I guess, here for life. But still not mining. Dude, such a massive gold advantage already for Moon. It's going to get more and more. And if he gets this treat, this game's over. Yeah, I think... Life will then tap out. He has no mana. More wisps coming. Down to 60% is this tree. Moon still has another set of treants. And as you said, the gold lead as well. Ooh, mana is gone good. now from all sides though. So it's just about the right clicks right now. And Pete, perhaps life can hold this. The flute here for him certainly pretty good. Level 2 for the Arc should be chemical rate maybe, but he's low HP anyways. TP already there on the second hero, getting more kills now. Oh my god. It's the shooting range. Destruction! 29 supply left for life. Moon at 46, going for more with the Moon Wells here. Tier 3 on the way as well. Halfway done. <laughs> It ain't looking good for our Chinese boy. No. It ain't looking good. He needs a freaking miracle. He'll scroll for Moon now and an invul. A player's forces are under attack. How to get back from this, I guess. Creeping, hoping for items and stuff. And hope that Moon will stay at 50 and then force a fight or something. I don't know. Sounds like a lot of hoping. Yeah, it's not gonna happen most likely. Sells the scroll of the beast. Isn't that one way to hopefully get a comeback mechanic? Yeah, I thought so too. Like, especially if you pull up a group of treants, then use the scroll of the beast and then hope to get the tree. Moon has the second engine of war. Moon has the hunter's hall. Moon has the tier three tech. Moon has a lot more than life. What can he even get from this Ogre Magi? Like, it doesn't feel like anything's good enough. One of the wind, prevent a staff, try to get a hero kill. But there's this belt with he needs two books of the dead, and there being no wisps. That's what he needs. But, 
Dude, Moon, he's just sick. Like, once he's ahead a little, he yeah. just gets further and further ahead. And if he's behind, that's the fucking scary part. He still doesn't. Yeah. That fight at the merchant got the game for him thus far. Yeah. Fucking Moon, dude, he's scary as shit. Ultra vision coming. Just waiting for attack. marksmanship. Or is it done already? Nope, not yet. And Munster's chilling, he's like, yo, this game's going great for me. How's it for you, bro? <laughs> but at least he kept the expo up. Is Moon staying at 50? Yeah, he kind of is. He's piling up a lot of gold, though. Where's the marksmanship? A player's Where is it? Are under attack. Oh, look at this. There we go. Damn. Best, uh, best icon in the game. Starship should do an icon tier list. What do you think? <laughs> I'd be more than happy to help him out. Oscar, time for a new tier list. Let's go. Ancient Django of Endurance for the Chinese and not too much health loss thanks to the healing ward. Actually pretty good. Moon on the other side. What's he going to get? The same. Like, what the fuck? What is this? What is this? What is this? What the fuck? Again, the same drop at the red camp. These are, items are actually pretty sick, honestly, for life. He's got the double auras for those archers. But he's got a lot fewer archers, doesn't he? He doesn't have marksmanship. And how can you win without marksmanship? Well, Moon could. He's not even tier 3. He just started it now. No ultra vision. These archers are 20 to 22. Marksmanship is finished with this. First attack upgrade started as well. And Moon goes into life's base. He got the arc on the alchemist. But Moon's zapper. already destroying buildings here. Perfect position with the zapper. Ah, oh, dude! In the yeah. middle! Come on! Boom! There we go. Yeah. 1,500 gold for life. Supply stuck. No lumber. Why didn't he produce it? That uh, feels weird, man. Archers are falling like flies. Yeah. Moon is the king of this matchup, dude. It's not even close. Maybe able to force the TP here, like Moon did earlier. Force the TP, get him out of your hair at least. But no, -uh. it's not gonna happen. GG. Moon is the third player qualified for the top four in the HNW Masters alongside Lin and 120. What a lineup already! Unbelievable. Mount Rushmore almost reunited there. The fourth player will either be Lawliot, Life, or Sock. That is uh, what we will conclude tomorrow. As we have our Liquipedia bracket here. There we go. You see it. Moon just advanced 2 and 0. Oh, is qualified. $4,500 for him. So our first match tomorrow is going to be Lolliet versus Sock, and then Life will find the winner of that match in the losers' finals. Has another shot tomorrow, so it's going to be uh, China versus Korea. There could be two Koreans, uh, two Chinese, if Life makes it. What do you think? Who do you think is the favorite out of those three tomorrow? Super hard to say. Like, even between Lawliot and Sock, usually I would always give the edge to Lawliot. Um, during WGL, he even defeated him at Human Mirror. But since then, half a year has passed, and Sock, in this matchup, he's bringing Moon very, 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 very close to losses. And that tells you a lot. But Lawliot is not really playing like Moon. He's playing a little different. Maybe um, he has a better shot against that play style then. I actually have no idea. And with life, you have no idea what you get. Yeah, judging from Sock's first game in Group B earlier this week, <clears throat> he seems to be preferring one base play styles a lot currently, which I really don't believe in at the moment. I think two base tier three is the way to go. Um, but perhaps that was just 
flavor of the day or against life or whatever. Uh, I wouldn't know who to call either. I would have loved to say Sock. I'm definitely a fanboy of the B-Boy. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. On paper, it should be Lolliot. But yeah, along those three, I really don't know. That was a cool but quick stream. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to follow us here on Twitch. To free, Feel free to follow us here on our socials. All the links in the stream and VOD description, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also join our Discord and join the Love Back to Warcraft community, the place to be as a Warcraft 3 fan. You can also help us out financially if uh, you want. A Twitch subscription helps both us and Twitch. You can support us directly via PayPal, crypto card, or a uh, crypto card, cryptocurrency, or credit card via the stream links donation link in the description. <coughs> Buy our merchandise or use the Amazon referral links. And of course, if you missed some games, you find them on our YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in. Remo, do you have any last words? Uh, no. See you tomorrow. Exactly. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. CST. Decision in Group B. Stay tuned.